please subscribe. BMG GTR will roll into dealers around this time in 2017, but it won't be cheap. Mercedes hasn't released the price yet, but considering the base AMG GTS starts at $130,825, we can only imagine how much extra it'll be. The latest weapon in Mercedes arsenal takes what it's learned from the road-going GT and GTS coupes and race-ready GT3 and brings it all together. The hand-built dock 4.0-litre twin-turbocharged V8 powering the GTR sits in same mid-front position as the rest of the GT lineup, but churns out 74 horsepower more than the current top-performing GTS. This bump brings the GTR's total output to 577 horsepower. The two turbos spool to a maximum speed of 186,000 revolutions per minute and stop building boost at 19.6 pounds per square inch. That air is then rushed through liquid to air into coolers before it's stuffed into the engine. All those ponies go to the rear 20-inch lightweight aluminum wheels by way of a 7-speed dual-clutch transaxle. Nestled inside the transaxle is also a much-needed limited slip differential. If you plan on tracking this, Mercedes has you in mind. The GTR uses a dry sump oiling system to help keep the engine happily lubricated while cornering. While the power is undeniably impressive, it's not all that special about this Benz. This AMG GTR sports rear wheel steering, active aero and a double wishbone coil over front and rear suspension. The active aero kicks on in race mode, while going over 50 miles per hour the system drops a carbon fiber underbody spoiler just in front of the engine by 1.6 inches, reducing front axle lift by over 80 pounds at 155 miles per hour. Both the front and rear double wishbone suspensions use forged aluminum control arms with adjustable coilovers that still use AMG ride control active damping. Before hitting 62 miles per hour, the rear wheel steering turns the rear wheels by about 1.5 degrees in the opposite direction of the front wheels, increasing maneuverability. From 62 miles per hour to the GTR's top speed of 198 miles per hour, the wheels begin to turn the same direction as the front wheels, which should help you change lanes while you're tearing down the autobahn. Responsible for slowing this beast are the gigantic standard equipment 15.4-inch front and 14.2-inch rear perforated steel rotors. If that isn't good enough, you can spring for the 15.8-inch front and 14.2-inch rear carbon ceramic rotors, 